Um, to be a, considered a, a local Brazilian company, you need to establish a local subsidiary or join a JV. It's not China, it's not India. Um, you know, I think General Electric is a very large Brazilian company if you asked people in Brazil, or Ford is considered a, a domestic company. They've been in the market for a long time, and they uh, have Brazilian management. And uh, So, um, Brazil has always been and remains open to foreign investment. It's not a question of investment, um, it's about localized production. So, if you are looking to invest in Brazil, there are ways that um, Brazil Maior can be seen as an, as, as an incentive, um, but it has to, it, it necessarily requires changes in approach by multinationals. So, but, but what has, and, 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 and Lisa's statistics kind of laid this out, is if we look at what has this, what has this uh, industrial policy actually done for Brazil. Um, we saw the deindustrialization, de the numbers were quite, were, the relief was quite, quite uh, dramatic, and um, the lack of competitiveness as well. These are all well-hashed issues. Um, and the current policy has, it could, has not done anything. They're accelerating, so something is accelerating these, these exacerbating these problems. Um, instead, we've seen a much more consolidated, read less competitive market in many sectors. Um, the, incentive, the skewed incentives for localized production have created um, a redundancy of, of capacity in order to produce things that are already available in the market, often at a higher cost than they would be for if they were imported. So there's no market for the export of these products.